Hello YouTube, um, today I'm going to do a video on how to hold a crested gecko. Sorry, he just jumped. Alright, well here's my crested gecko. This is Kehi. Um, when you're holding a crested gecko, one thing you have to watch out for is that they jump. Let's see if I can get a jump for you. See? They like to jump around, so you got to watch that. Um, when they're younger, they can jump too far and they could hurt themselves, so you've got to be careful. Um, when they're really little, little babies, you'll want to hold them um, like maybe over your sofa or right over the floor or over your bed. That way they don't fall too far and hurt themselves. And then he jumps on my computer. So, but, there he goes again. I'm a little escape artist. But, um,. You know, when you're holding them, you never want to grab their tail. They can drop their tail, and it does not grow back. And it's kind of weird to have a gecko with a stubby tail. So, gotta watch out for that. Um, if they do happen to jump far, it's okay. Um, especially when they're as big as mine. He's kind of not used to where he has to go or how far he has to jump. So, um, I, he's jumped at least four feet and been perfectly fine. <laughs> But um, yeah, when you're handling them, don't don't put pressure on them. Don't put your thumb there. They don't like that. They don't like being restrained. Um, just let them walk freely. And you can do the hand-to-hand -hand technique. Um, just let them walk from one hand to the next, and they should, you know, they'll be fine. Um, I don't know if all crested geckos do that or do this, but mine does. If you hold him for a while, um, he'll poop on you. I don't know why, but he always does with me. So, I want to look out for them. But yeah, when you're holding them, just got to remember they jump far. Never grab their tails and never put pressure on them. So, yeah. say hello, Kehi. Alright, thanks for watching.